what did you come to learn? You came uh, to learn a measurement system. This is a, a, a system of, of opposites, of polarities, uh, and we quickly give them labels like positive and negative, good, bad, and these kinds of things. We, we learn this measurement system, very important. We learn it, the system of measurement. And, uh, and a great system of measurement that we learn is pain, pleasure. And we know, how in the world could you know pleasure if you didn't know pain? The most boring thing that you could do is have a very even life with no pain or no pleasure. You couldn't stand it. You've got to have these, and we search for those, those pain and pleasure things. We go out of our way to do it. So if you think in terms of, of the whole concept of living here to learn measurements, now that's the first. The second is very interesting, is that you learn to manipulate energy. I move my arms like this, my hands, I move my eyes and so on. I am using, I'm manipulating energy to do that. That's a, a, a use of five or six types of energy that let me move my arm. And we learn these very automatically. And I can tell you from deep personal experience that that simple ability that we take so much for granted of learning to manipulate energy is incredibly valuable in other energy systems. You'd be amazed how, how much value uh, that we think are ordinary things. Uh, keeping your balance, for example. We automatically learn how to stay balanced in this gravitic pattern. But over there, it's wonderful. You can use these kinds of things. So these are the two key things, but the most important thing of all. We came and we come here to learn and acquire an intellect. It's strange. An intellect. And we acquire oh, intelligence is not enough of the word. An intellect, an analytical ability. We come here to learn that. We use the metaphor left brain. We learn to acquire a left brain by living here and being here. That's the real valuable tool that we come and pick up. So you think that combination puts together um, uh, a being that is a super being, and that's true, except a terrible thinking happens, as they say, on the way to the store. Uh, we think we come and learn this, and we uh, think we will go and take off and go back where we came from. And I can say without any equivocation, no reservation, no conditioning, that everything, what little and is not much, I assure you, that I might have achieved so far is totally due to the imposition of my intellect upon what was taking place. Uh, instead of just flying around in the out-of-body state, after I knew it wouldn't kill me, I got curious, and the intellect got curious. What's going on here? What is this that's taking place? That was the difference. That brought, brought the whole thing in, into, into focus, into patterns, getting my analytical ability at work in it, and any what little growth has due to that. Now, the funny thing is, that is, so, so now we gather all these things. We gather intellect, our measurement, knowledge, our uh, application of energy, and we're all, as I like to put it, going home with all this bag full of goodies, as it were, to take home and show the local boys how much you've learned and what you can do. Only, the only problem is that when we do this, uh, uh, we forget something that happens as again on the way to the store that we don't expect what's that well y if you know about it then you can have fun it's where you n don't know about it is where it gets dangerous and that is that we become addicted to being human and so after we exit this uh, this particular life sojourn we're saying instead of going home and what I call having escape velocity to go home Something's happened in living that life. We've picked up a load factor. Uh, there was friction along the way, and that represents it. So instead of moving out and having escape velocity, we start turning along that, and it's 
our decision, no one else's, that's the important thing, our decision, we say, well, I think I'll go back just once more. And then this next time, I think I'll be a male instead of a female. That ought to be more fun. Just once more, and then I'll go home. So what happens is, instead of moving this way, we loop around and go back being a human again, and go back and have another human experience, another lifetime, and we come out again, and we're already this time. But this time we've had even a greater load factor, don't you see? We've slowed up a little more. We don't haven't got the speed that we did. We have a greater load, and so we're now in orbit, and we have a decaying orbit. Because when we come up around the orbit like this, instead of going on, we say, "Oh, I got to go back because you know, I I have never seen Paris, and I'd like to go to Paris for once in my life, and I'd like to just go there." So, whole purpose to go back and live again, so that I can go to Paris. And again, I've heard so much about Paris, I want to go to Paris. So I'll go and live again so I can go to Paris. And as you can see, each time you pick up, in each succeeding lifetime, a greater load factor. So that as you go through this, your orbit decays more and more as you go through this, living these successive lives until you get locked in tighter and tighter and tighter. Until you are locked in being human so tight that you forget where you came from. You've lost all of the desire to even depart and go home. You've lost it all. Because this is so overwhelmingly addictive that you can't think of anything else but this time, space, physical matter, all the things that take place in there. And no matter how hard you try, you can't get away from it. And the reason being, there's no law. But when you, quote, die, and instead of going home, you make the decision. There's no law that says you have to stay here. You are the one who says, i got to go back. I, I didn't eat enough steaks. I didn't have enough strawberries. Uh, I didn't have enough children. All these kinds of things. Or I didn't have enough sex. <laughs> Just, uh, anyway, that's how we, we lock in as being human. And so doing this, now the next trick is, well, what happens? Well, uh, why don't we recognize this more and more? Because we are so deeply addicted. So we develop uh, an excuse, you know, which you call belief systems, to rationalize this process. And But it's all done in this local traffic human terms. This is the difference. As a result, uh, somewhere along the way, you begin to find cracks in the belief system. You begin to find reasons that don't work quite well. That's the analytical thing coming into it. It says, hey, wait a minute, something wrong here. <laughs> This doesn't ways it doesn't work out. Two and two makes six. No, 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 no. Wrong. Try again. You begin to find out that there are some holes in the cracks, and that's when you begin to regrow and begin to so that successively you begin to start on your way out again, and you begin to have a a higher and higher orbit as you learn more and in these successive lives. So finally, you got escape velocity, and then you do go home. And that's what it's all about. Bob, are these very provocative ideas the result of your own analytical human mind, or is this information that has come from some source outside of your human mind? Uh, well, that's, <laughs> that, that's an interesting question. I would say probably, uh, I can't give you, I'm prone to make percentiles, and I don't know as I can give you an appropriate it is a combination. Obviously, through the years, uh, I've developed a lot of non-human